So I really like this film. I've seen it a couple of times now, and I like it for a number of reasons. Firstly, uh, as Hank says in that interview, it is about, you know, he says, he says it's about the week that Catherine Graham became Catherine Graham. I like the fact that it is, it's a story of somebody finding their voice. Time and again, Spielberg captures Catherine Graham in a room full of men when at the beginning she's she's nervous and she doesn't know what to say and she doesn't have and during the course of the thing she finds her voice she finds her place so we see her character develop and actually despite everything else that's going on around it that's the primary journey of the film that's one part the second thing is the relationship between her and Bradley and the way in which their relationship is a completely professional relationship about two people who have differing opinions on something but actually end up respecting each other and circling around each other in a way which is um, you know it's a it's a film about a professional relationship which is not something that you see that often uh, in uh, modern cinema. The other thing is the film runs straight into All the President's Men. You could literally take one of the end scenes of this and, you know, splice it straight into the beginning of All the President's Men and run the two of them together, except for the fact that obviously... Catherine Graham disappears. Is, ...isn't in All the President's Men. Um, uh, it's, I, I love the period setting, the fact that it's got that kind of 35 mil sheen, that the muted colours, long, slow zooms... Um, it's a story about newspaper deadlines and it's very fitting, therefore, that Spielberg turned it round on a dime. I mean, it's a film that's shot fast, like a kind of a news film. I love how much Spielberg loves the printing presses. There are whole scenes when they've got the linotype machines and everything. You can feel him literally drooling over the hot metal and all that is great. And it, that's, you know, that's something that I really enjoy the texture of. But it's also about something which is terribly relevant and contemporary, which they talked about in that interview, which is it is about a time in which a corrupt president is attempting to suppress uh, a story and whether or not the press is able to stand up to that. And I think it's astonishing how relevant a story that's you know from the early 70s can seem now in uh, 2018 and this happened in the same week that we had the you know the alleged fake news awards or whatever that actually turned out to be and it's impossible not to see this and see parallels between what's happening now and what happened then there are lots of rousing speeches about you know the founding fathers and the importance of the uh, of the free press as you know checks and balances upon power Speeches which in any other movie and perhaps at any other time might have seemed, you know, Spielberg has a great love of reading a piece of constitution. I mean, we've seen this before when he was doing Lincoln, when he was doing Bridge, Bridge, of, Spies. Bridge of Spies. Loads of it, yeah. Yeah, and he loves it because he genuinely believes in, in that stuff in a real emotional way. And he's one of the few people that can put that stuff on screen. You know, it's funny, I was thinking about the journey that I have gone on in, in this programme. When we first started doing film reviews together, I was very sniffy about Spielberg. I, you know, I used to like the exploitation movies. I was very, very sniffy about some of his work. And I've completely changed because I think he is a really good, proper storyteller. And what he does here is he tells a story and he tells it at the moment that it needs to be told. And so that when those things are put in front of you, when you it's actually a matter of this is what's important, this is why this institution is important, and this is why suppressing this institution is a bad thing, is something that he can do with artistry. He can do in a way that is gripping and engaging. And I think no matter what your political leanings, you, it's impossible to watch the post and not think this has relevance with what's happening today. And it is a story about, you know, there's a brilliant line in which, you know, Ben Bradley says, if, you know, what's the point of the post if not to print these stories? And she says, well, what's the point of these stories if it means that there is no post? You know, it's genuine, a, a genuine issue. Genuine, genuine issue. Yeah. And it's uh, very important that the, you know, the masthead is democracy dies in darkness. And this is a film which talks about shining a light on something and standing up to authority because you need to do it. I love the way, also, when, when you see, you'll see, Tom Hanks has got a different posture. He stands in a yeah, different he does. way. Hands on hips and, he, and he's thinking, oh, yes, I know it's Tom Hanks, but that's great, you know. Yeah, yeah. Really terrific. A and Meryl Streep's performance is terrifically it's physical as well. It's kind of her well. film. Yeah, it is. And that's why I said yeah. at the beginning, it's actually about that character's arc. <laughs> 